Hello everyone, we are Sonic the Dark Gamer here and welcome back to Katawa Shoujo. Last time, the student council got kidnapped for lunch. This time, Shizune and Misha seem content to let the whole day pass by, stalling for even more time by suggesting a tour of the town that turns out to cover a two block radius. Eventually, we do get back to school, and the rest of the day is business as usual. When classes are over, Shizune and Misha pack their bags and leave the room before me. Come to think of it, this is the first time they've left me alone. Kind of lonely. I should probably see what they're up to. Hmm. It's strange. I almost missed them. The room empties quickly, and I'm the last one out the door. When tried to leave in the lobby, however, an arm lowers itself in front of me like a toll bridge gate, stopping me in my tracks. You have to pay this much! Oh, hi, Shizune. Ah! A pair of hairs from behind covered my eyes, followed by a sharp burst of laughter. Hi, he chan Guess who? Misha asked the question, completely without sarcasm, meaning she doesn't think that I instantly knew it was her for very many obvious reasons. I wonder who it could be. Well, it's definitely not Misha. <laughs> it is! Misha swings around to stand in front of me beside Shizune. Hey chan are you busy right now? No, not really. Busy going to my room, yeah. See you two tomorrow. I tried to make a break for it, but Shizune is too agile to get past. As someone who used to play soccer, this is embarrassing. Not to mention that this behavior is drawing some odd looks. I should just quit while I'm ahead. Okay, what do you want? Hey Chan, can you please go upstairs and get a few things for us from the art room? Uh, okay. Why me? <laughs> Chi Chan thinks that if the art teacher sees us, he'll say hi, and she doesn't like him. No wonder! <laughs> Ignore him. I really don't blame her. She tried, but even though Shizune is deaf, he tries to say hi anyway. Oh, that's embarrassing. Run away? I never run. <laughs> A tone of finality so strong that I could pick it up even through Misha. I can see there is no use pursuing this further with Shizune. Misha, why can't you get them? Sounds make me dizzy, Hee-chan. Ah! Shizune nods as if to confirm it. Okay. Please, Hee-chan, you need these things to build stalls for the festival. And you said you would help out a little, right? Right? <sighs> I really shouldn't, but I guess just this once would be alright. Okay. That's great, Hee-chan! Thank you! This is what we need! And then we get the list, and then she holds a piece of paper for me to take. It's actually nice that we get a different scene. I'm sure the list was made by Shizune. It's handwritten, but each letter is perfectly formed and uniform, as if it was typed. Not just that, but it's exhaustively detailed, complete with numbers, bullet points, and even little checkboxes. Wow, that's detailed! What it boils down to is that she wants paint. Brush, paintbrushes, poster board, and an a soul. Just have a type of specific numbers of each. I wonder how I'm going to carry all this stuff down the stairs without breaking my neck. Oof. And then we go and meet Vin. I'm pretty sure this is the same, more or less the same. So we're just going to be fast forwarding it. We peek in. It's badly kept, not right place. And, yep, things in the corner. Nice sunlight. But anyways, and this is when you would meet Ben. But something in interesting I do want to say is how they actually have a different scene for us getting these. Because we're on Shizune's path. They went to go- we didn't stay behind the classroom like we did uh, in any of the other routes. And I'm guessing we don't go out for Emmys or vi uh, Lilies. But it's still interesting that we get a different scene. And that's how we head upstairs. We're not forced to it by the teacher. We're forced to it by other students just looking at us. Anyways, we ran the uh, route we had last time. She has no arms. Very deadpan manner of speaking. Very to the point. And very interesting a girl. <sighs> that's the thing watch. It's good stuff. There's no reward for a meal you eat after lunch but before dinner. And that's because we're not supposed to eat a meal between the two. But I call BS! 
because it's delicious. I have never had Koei. I still need to try Koei and boba tea. I should probably make that on my day off. Anyways. And she's guessing all disability because why not? And of course, there's something in our pants. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> so, so, imagine if you go to Yabaku because you have something wrong in your pants. I mean, I totally believe it, but it's like, how the hell do you explain that? That's just... Uh, <laughs> that would be pain in the ass to do. Anyways. Friends, I didn't invite an astonishment. Wait, there's something wrong with your tickle. No, no. It's like that. It's a whole problem. Looked it out, but said, and yada yada, we go while we try to get more of the supplies. Again, if you go and want to see this p actually play out, check either Hanako's route or Ren's route, because this is going to be skipped for the rest of it. Anyways, first time we talked to him about the condition, which is interesting. And again, I find it weird that in order to get on Rin's route, we had to tell Lily. I guess it's a show that, yeah, this is a problem problem. That's all I could think of. Boys uniform, lack of arms, they curve. I can't read at this speed. Should I increase the speed for this later on? Maybe. Does anybody have things to say? Yeah. It was unnatural. But as you keep looking for Misha things, and soon enough, in order to bypass the time, we talk to them. And of course, we're the first visitor that really. <sighs> People don't typically go to the art room. And she has a friend that does a lot of sports. Hmm, I wonder if she's gonna be relevant later. Oh, perhaps you like watching Gold Sleep. I mean, not wrong! Even if I did, you did, buddy! <laughs> you did watch. Uh, fine then, I am myself. But you are. Oh, then you are. It's not like she's looking at me. Yeah. <sighs> See you later, Sal. And even though those two appear here, <laughs> I'm still just gonna fast forward because this scene is unchanged as much as I know. I believe it's unchanged, and it really, even though they're in it, it really, this scene really has nothing to do with them. Misha and Shizune pop in, checking on us, because we were taking too long. And then she he uh, Misha hears Rin through the door, and Shizune goes and checks it out, and... Close the door calmly, because Rin is sleeping on the desk. That was weird, it actually got picked up. And then she blows up. <laughs> and Lord is, uh, stares at us like we did something. And of course, because the door is closed, Rin needs help opening it. And now the gang's all here. Misha, Shizune, Rin. Hanako's not here, actually. No Lily or Emmy. But to be fair, out of that group, Hanako's the only vow I had. Anyway, so me, uh, Shizune slash Misha go and scold Vin and talk about uh, Vin's project for the festival and how it's unfinished and they need to work harder on it. So postpone the nap to the inevitable future. We'll think more seriously about working on the project. How rude. But yeah, so. She needs to go and have help. We gave all of our supplies to Misha and Shizune. So the only thing we can do, really, is help Rin because there's a bag she, uh, paint, can of paint she needs. And of course, well, gentlemen, so let's carry it away. What any chance, like a boss, up, down, up, down, move your arms, let's do this. Walking down, ch well, there's only one can of paint. That gets swapped around every so often. But so, like, imagine grabbing two buckets of paint and then walking down two flights of stairs. But anyway, so while we're trying to head outside, we bump into the doctor. Well, the north. And of course, after our visit and telling us to do exercise and medication, since it's new, your current ones are going to need to have unexpected side effects and might need to be swapped around. So, if something's weird, back to the north. 
then after checking up on us a bit, we go and have to answer the dreaded question. Exercising. But of course we just say the dog acts heavy on and we just say okay. Because that was better than a generic, you know, message. Just a uh, generic answer. I don't know a few people. He has spies watching our every move since he knows we have not been the track. He knows we have been slacking off. And of course with our little attempt of humor of exercising, the dog gets serious and even tells Win to go to the corner for a bit. The more you step and postpone, the harder it'll be. This, I don't know if it matters, but because I'm just going to assume it is, so I say yes. I promise to try. I promise to try. Actually, no, I didn't say yes here. I said the other one. Because, yeah, this one definitely does not matter. If it was Vin, it might matter. And I know for a fact if it was Emmy, it matters. But for Shizune's route, which I forgot we were on, it doesn't matter here. Are you getting medications for your heart thingy? You are listening? <sighs> but even then, it's not her business. So we're a bit guilty, but... <sighs> this is hard. And yeah, for my heart, they'll not make me better, it'll just make me feel less worse. Sad, depression, yada yada. At the hospital, it was easy. Cause we did, eh, cause we didn't exactly live the normal life there. <laughs> uh, we have not had a normal life for how many months now? Anyways, we go to the brick wall outside the dorms and we see a mural uh, being walked on. With only a couple of faces and the uh, white background. And this is where we have to go and, well this is where Vin will go and create her masterpiece. Is that the art teacher? We'll go and share with his friends, make connections, get to win her own. I don't want to spoil Vin's route. <laughs> <sighs> but anyways, so our holes will be lost if we can't walk on it, because paint has to be painted, and then it has to dry, and then be painted over. It takes time. The concept that's really not that hard. And of course, we do not know how, well, Hassel does not know how Vin would be able to paint, even though I think we've already seen how. With my feet. Brother, I just have to say, I really like Vin's, like, very happy face when she says, of course, with my feet. But anyways, with the afternoon light, it should be done, and Hassel does not know art terms. So we, he really can't tell if something's flat or not. Which, to be fair, I would not be in a better suit. <laughs> uh, you want to get a lamp for one of the sports? Why not? I'm not sure if I can be helped, though. And it's just mixing paints, which we can be able to do. We have no problem with motor skills. Because our heart is purely heart and not movie armsies. But anyway, so we were able to move these armsies to go in and create different colors of paint, which Vin sometimes doesn't have exact tone. <laughs> like she can't ex describe the last tone for her. At half a splash, no idea what the half a splash is. The other green, that that's almost a full splash. Need more white. There's a big green. Do you like an opinion? I have no idea. It's okay, I'm alright. <laughs> I don't understand. As people like the color when you wake up and you don't just have the meaning of your life in your dreams. <laughs> uh, I s so we go and spend the rest of the day working with Vin. It doesn't look like the uh, painting actually changes in this shot. It's still what it looks like when we started, I think. But there's a smile on Vin's face, and discussing paints and mixings, and <sighs> that was done. Okay, now it changes. And once it gets too late, we just flop over and sleep. And now it's time for the moment of truth. Waking up. 
We would have liked to stay all day, but the school might have a fit because hot problems. They might think we're dead. So we can only do the most logical thing to do. Put on our old soccer uniform and head out to the check like the doctor said. It's a new way of life for the old clothes and for us. After all, these old soccer clothes are now only going to be for running around for a bit. And of course, there is the girl that bowled us over, Emmy. And I would give her some uh, flack for not remembering the name Emmy, but to be fair, I suck at names. I forget the names of people that told me their names five minutes ago. But she weighs and jogs over when she goes and realizes there's someone here. So, remember? Uh, uh, so, remember? I'm Emmy. Oh yeah, she tries to imitate Misha and Shizune's, uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, frick, I probably should have gone to that. So the spike is salted and the dog no, I was talking about was you. Again, remember, free game! If you want to go and see all the alternate dialogues, play it yourself. I'm just here to share it. And if you don't want to play for yourself because you don't have a computer or something, well, I apologize, I'm not showing every little bit. <laughs> I'm trying to make this po not take a hundred episodes. But anyways, we go talk a bit about uh, sports, about running, and all that type of fun stuff. See, so now into the whole organization thing. And I guess we can run together. I mean, it's pleased that we're going to do it. And of course, we don't warm up. Even th and Emmy hates warming up, even though she doesn't have to do her legs. Lucky little. But anyway, so we go to the track and start running. She goes full force. <sighs> and due to our heart, we can't take much more. Doesn't help that our heart wasn't in it to begin with. And but yeah. And we goes and sees that we stopped and comes to talk to us. We go and measure we're not in good shape. She tries to encourage us with the fact that we just started, and if you keep going a bit further and further and further and further, you'll get amazing! And of course we need to get back before class, and... Amy doesn't exactly know the time, but she has a routine she wants to finish. So, fair enough I guess. Just, please don't be late, and please don't run in the halls. You don't want to hit me again and give me a heart attack. But anyways, we go back, we go take a shower, go put on clothes, and... Hesa! Uh, Kenji! Sup? What the fuck? I should be asking you! I've been looking for you all over the place, man! Why are you looking for us? Why are you naked? And why can't you see that I'm naked? Uh, you know your room and... Yeah, that's it! Hey, I started to get up, but... Hey, can I, can I borrow some money? Uh... 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 Uh, sure? Why? Uh... Can you just give it to me because it's goodwill? Because I didn't go and steal it? Come on, that counts. If it counts, I should be withholding payment. Not giving. I'm a fitted man, but if that's good in this game, then I guess I have no choice. I want pizza. Can I get some? No. Why? Yeah, I'd give you some, but you have class. What about you? I don't go to class. I have to wait for the pizza, and then eat it. It's not easy. You need to get the pizza stealthily. Otherwise, people will go and want a slice. And then you'll be pizza-less in a whole cool, cool world! And that's why I need to be there when people order pizza, so I can steal a slice! But yeah, can I find 400? I can't remember what I was doing. Standing? I don't know. But anyway, it happened. Like a flash of lightning, a bug crept on my head. It was epic, and the second most shocking moment of my life. It was like an opening to some kind of anime show! You know, where the main dude's fighting rivals and they fly and clash and stuff. Like that, but poop. But anyways, can I have a foul thousand? Almost 400. Okay, what? I'll pay you back, I swear. You better, that's what it means. You have a week to pay me. Ah! Look, dude, you're not supposed to be so tight ass about money between brothers and arms. Did you know that male porn star? That. Does it matter? So, anyways, if I was a porn star on the side. Anyways, I'd make less money than female porn stars. The feminist agenda? That's porn and stuff. I, I see you don't give a shit. And BAM! Out of nowhere! What it? Uh, what about table I stabbing things? But you didn't take the- Well, I don't take the lightning for the big things! Individually, they're not a threat. 
But if there's some kind of war. But anyways. <laughs> I forgot long this was Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Until I was on Earth. Oh, I'm just losing my mind. Kid is great. Yeah, so there's a war going on. A one not many know about. It's a great one that'll boil over. Imagine it. A bloody battle of the field. I almost gave up. I thought it was silly. But. So then I realized if I gave up, it would all be awful. I was like, whoa! Must be a pretty crappy movement if all hinges on one naked guy. So can I have money? Awesome, dude. Thanks, we can go bowling later. Bowling? Yes, yeah, the ultimate sport. There's almost no bowl female bowlers. Should I wear a pink bowl uh, bowls of bowling clothes? Maybe. Anyway, better pay me back. I can pay you back in stuff, right? I don't know. I have to get back. No, let's get to class. Oh, yeah. Time for what? I just like saying that. Okay, now the time has really come. I have to use the bathroom. Get out. I'll just go to... What does it... It's a big... So, can't go if I'm not alone. <laughs> I'll think of something. And... Ah, uh, fuck, fuck. And then Hussar just leaves. We're gonna pretend that never happened. Ugh. <sighs> I'm the first person in class today. Although I think I'm a little too early. Then again, sitting alone here for 20 minutes sure beats having to suffer that time with Kenji. The combination of fatigue, frustration, and boredom starts making me feel very tired. I black out for a second, waking up when my head hits the surface of my desk. With my forehead, I realize that this is as good a reason as any to stay up for a while now and stop coming to class so early. Eventually, I hear a tapping noise outside in the hallway, and Lily's tall figure appears in the doorway. She's not in this class, so she must have some other business. Maybe she's looking for Hanako? Lily stops at the door, looking hesitant as if she was a vampire who can't come in unless invited. I consider doing so because she looks rather lonesome standing there. She steps in on her own accord, though, after shading her skirt and shirt color as if it was important to look prim when entering our classroom. Excuse me? She calls into the quiet classroom with a probing, delicate voice. I realize the silence might not know of her because of her blindness, so I break it. Good morning, Lily. How are you this evening? Hassel? Good morning. I didn't hear you come in. Wonder if she thinks it's suspicious I didn't say anything to her before. It's likely if I were to tell her too big of a lie now, it would sink me. <sighs> well, I was already here. Just asleep until now. Oh, have you seen Hanukkah today by any chance? Uh, no, she seems to only come in before the bell rings, or after that. Do you want me to tell her something for you? No, it's fine. It's strange, but I think we're the only two in this school right now. I didn't hear anyone else on my way here. Well, that's oddly bizarre. Shouldn't be that early in the morning. I should have gotten up so early since the day, I guess. You're ch chastising yourself for doing something that other people should? Punctuality is a good thing. I think so, anyways. Yeah, I should probably get up more, but... <laughs> it's a very busy morning today. The festival is coming up soon, and today is the deadline for event registration, budget report, and any other official paperwork. It would be that everyone is trying to complete the necessary forms at the last minute. Maybe that's why it's so quiet today. Maybe. Hey, hi! Leisha pops into the room with Shizune as if on cue, shouting with a loud boldness that makes Lily visibly flinch. Hi, He-chan! Hi. Look, it's a class representative! Hello! Hello! Lily smiles, probably amused by Misha's, or rather Shizune's, use of the word, look. Good morning. Of course, you're not the representative of this class, right? Right? I'm not. Lily seems to be a little more guarded in her answers to Shizune than what she was with me the other day. I guess they really don't get along. Which is not that surprising. And I realize that Lily might actually not know she's in his presence, so she's trying to dictate whether or not she is, to know who she is talking to. For all she knows, she's talking to Misha, but knowing that she and Shizune are practically inseparable, she might expect Shizune be the one that actually talks. Which makes perfect logical sense, if you ask me. Damn, how complicated. 
I decided to help Lily out for my own peace of mind more than anything else. You were here earlier, Shizune. You were here earlier than us! Isha puts her cheeks angrily. Why is she getting angry? Does she feel emotions on Shizune's behalf too? It's not that weird though, that Shizune didn't like my little comment. It's true, I was here earlier than them, so me saying something like that could definitely be misinterpreted as anything. Yeah, I probably should have just said, hey you two. Especially to Shizune, who doesn't have the benefit of hearing tone to gauge intent. Before I can start weighing whether or not I should apologize, Shizune has already moved on. Class rep, it's good to think you're here. We have to talk. The festival is coming up in three days, right? Every other class has already handed in their project budget reports for their events. Even the first years, except you. <laughs> There's still time to hand it in, isn't there? So I should be fine. Today? The deadline is today! You're suddenly taking your time, aren't you? If I had it my way, I've had all the necessary paperwork done days ago. But someone had to say, the deadline, please extend it. We are blind people that can't get shit done on time. Yes, that was me. Planning something on this scale is not a small task. A week is too small a time frame to expect the whole class to work out such a complex issue completely. We like to be thorough and of such. Do you want to know who works harder than distributing the funds for one class event? How does the same matter for every other class in the school and then some? The one who does that is me! Well, Shizune, but Misha's talking for Shizune. Misha puts his hands on her hips and stands up straight. Wow, she is really getting into the role. Lily doesn't look like she's very amused, though. Hey, Shizune, are you being a little too hard on her? There's still a whole day left. Please, Sasao, it's alright. See, uh, Lily seems happy I'm taking her aside, but a bit conflicted that I might not think she can take care of herself. Eh, yeah, Lily's a strong person. If this is about the budget, then I disappoint you think I have forgotten about it. I understand how important it is. Then, can I have it, please? Shizune, she might not have it on her at this exact second. It's not here right now. I asked two students to take care of it for me. Students from my class. She emphasizes the last sentence much to my surprise. She knows about Shizune and Misha's efforts to vote me into student council. I mean, they did. We are part of student council now. I guess one must have gotten around, so now she's using me as ammo against Shizune. This just gets better and better. It was your responsibility. A budget report isn't something you should be delegating away as class rep. It's your job to be on top of things. This kind of disregard for proper procedure is really just terrible. And I should know. I am a little... <laughs> I can't ab lip. <laughs> they completed it, being capable of doing so, but the students have been sick recently, so they could not come to school and give it back to me. If you want, I will apologize on their behalf for getting sick. Okay. Although Misha misses Lily's little jab entirely, Shizune doesn't, and she seems torn between being offended by Lily's daring and jumping for joy at the prospect of a challenge. Lily, don't they have don't they live here at the school? That's a five minute walk, you know? What could they possibly have that prevents them from taking five minutes out of their busy lives to drop off something that'll affect the enjoyment of their entire class? Lily opens her mouth to say something, but she soon closes the gap between them and starts signing furiously. I've got hands around like an orchestra conductor. Da, 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 da. Misha takes her best to convey the same passion, but can't seem to lose her normal cheerful tone. The result is interesting and somewhat surreal. And what's with that attitude? I said that it's not something you should be delegating away. Are you the class representative or aren't you? I... Tell me, the names of those two students. They should have your job if you can't even handle something this simple yourself. I mean, it's just paperwork. One form isn't the full extent of what I'm supposed to take care of. I have a sort of manners. Lily's tone is growing slightly impatient. 
but she's doing a good job of not letting Shizune see how subtle she is becoming. She's playing her cards close to her chest. Shizune, on the other hand, wraps her fingers cheerfully along the edge of her glasses, knowing Lily can't neither hear or, nor see how excited she is. Of course you do so much, class rep. It must be so difficult being you. Lily tightens her lips at Misha's words, clearly understanding the intent behind them, even though Misha delivers them without even a hint of sarcasm, which they were meant to have. Don't worry, I've fil filled it in for you. <laughs> Shizune and Lily don't like each other. That much is clear. This seems a little much. Seems like Lily has had enough and is ready to push back. I was actually just discussing the budget report before you came by. You must be very talented to have finished all your student council duties so quickly that you can track me down to make sure that I don't forget my own. Are you accusing me of slacking off? It seems like you're confusing me with yourself. I don't think so. That would be a very difficult thing for me to do, comparing myself to you. You're right. The difference between us is like heaven and hell. And it's not hard to guess which one you might represent. The air between them ripples with the heat of their enmity. Well, not really. They can't disguise it anymore, though. Even Misha looks like she's beginning to understand the real nature of this conversation. Very, very aggressive conversation. Hee-chan, don't you slack off either. Do what? what are you talking about? Aren't you talk taking part of the festival, Hee-chan? You are, aren't you? Then I hope you're going to do a lot more more to make sure it goes smoothly uh, than this person. You don't understand why Shizune is suddenly getting mad at me. <laughs> don't drag me into this. I've done my part. Why am I being dragged into this again? I've done more than enough, I think. If you're angry with Lily, that has nothing to do with me. Get off my back. Now, wait a second. Are you implying the president is more right in scolding me than yourself? I've done literally nothing, Lily. Then again, you don't either, but... Ah, uh, damn. I think I could have worded that better. No, I don't know about that. I mean... What are you saying, He-chan? It's just that I hardly think it's fair you can say that, seeing as I helped you guys. The mood has changed. This is like a showdown between two gunfighters now. Well, it was like that before too, but this time Shizune's focus is on me. And so is Lily's, though she keeps quiet. I'm afraid I inadvertently pissed her off. We most certainly did, buddy. Are you saying I'm wrong? What a dangerous situation. It's too early to argue with you. Yes, I think it's unfair for you to get on my case. Hee-chan, you want too much, but you have a point. Okay, okay, okay. You're not lazy, Hee-chan. <laughs> Shizune pushes the glass up with a thumb, almost approvingly. Seriously, we help them out, and they're calling us lazy. Come on. That's good. If you're not useless, then you shouldn't let anyone say you are. But the next time I say it, it'll really be because you disappointed me, like Miss Class Rep here. So don't let this go to your head. Ugh. That's kind of rude, buddy. Lily takes the jab silently, a venomous visage frozen on her face. Class Rep, she sounds says, don't forget that report, please. I won't. Will that be all? Uh, will that be all? Yep. Then good day to you all. She is pissed. Her voice would cut the air of the classroom into half if it was more tangible. Lily leaves the room, understandably in a bad mood, but still manages to be as poised and calm as always. Shizune, you really did go a little too far tonight. It's true, Shichan, just a little. If I had been expecting Shizune to gradually admit I had a point there as well, I think I was expecting too much. She didn't respond. <laughs> Shichan thinks you should mind your own business. Hee-chan, we have a few last-minute things to take care of before class. We might be late, so can you please cover for us? 
Okay, fine. Yeah. Perfect. Yay. Okay. Thanks, he chan Well, that's all for this time. This is your son, Good Job Gamer. I hope you enjoyed the series so far, and I'll see all you guys again next time. Good luck to have the classrooms at the only 10 minutes left before the bell rings, signaling the end of class.